Hello, if you are an Algebra 1 teacher looking for some brand new free resources, this video is for you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin. And I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and Algebra 1. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 brand new Algebra 1 resources that I just wanted to share with any Algebra 1 teachers who may need it. I'm so excited about these resources. So if you are in need of some brand new resources, this video is for you. And don't forget to share it with any of your friends as well, because these resources are beyond awesome sauce. And I can't wait for you to check it out. So let's dive right in to see everything that you get. Here we go. So our first resource is an Algebra 1 Equations PowerPoint. So if I click right in, it takes you directly to the PowerPoint. It is a PDF and you get this inside of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership. But for now, I am giving you the PowerPoint totally for free. It goes through practice. It goes through our notes, vocabulary, um, practice problems, everything. Next, you get two step equations. This is our our set of practice problems that we have again inside of the membership. And I should just say, before I continue with this, if you want all 10 of these, you get all 10, it is not a pick and choose situation. There is a link in the description box right under this video or below or however way you're watching this. You can grab these 10 resources right now. If you're also interested in accessing hundreds and hundreds of other resources for your middle school math class, inside of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership. It is also in the description box as well. Okay, let's jump right back in into what you get. So here is our practice problems for two sub equations. Again, you get all of them and then the answer keys, of course. All right, so next we have variables on both sides. For this topic, you get our set of task cards. So it includes all 15 task cards and answer key and a work template or you know a space for your students to be able to show their work okay next we have multi-step equations this is our digital mystery puzzle activity so if you click this, it will have you make a copy so that it goes directly into your Google Drive. You do need to be signed in into Google to get this. Um, however, if you don't, if you are not a Google Classroom, you can still use this in um, Microsoft Excel. All you would have to do is just download this as an Excel file and it will totally work. So. What your students will do is they will find the solution set for each inequality. This is solving multi-step inequalities. Then they will type in the answer into these answer, key, answer boxes. And then when they are done, as they, as they fill in the answer, these boxes will start to display an image and your students will see what is this mystery picture um, as I'm solving. In the very end, we do have an answer key and it looks like this. So students will answer all of, all of the problems and then they will discover that that is the mystery puzzle. Okay, next we have graphing lines and slope intercept form. This is our pixel art, again, digital activity. Again, this is made in Google Sheets. So if you use Microsoft, you can download this in Excel and it will work exactly the same. So the sheet looks like this. They will have all the, all of the uh, questions here. They will match the answers here in the answer box. And then as they answer, so let's see. Okay, so the first answer is L. So if I punch in L, you can see here, since that is the correct answer, I have these pixel colors that have appeared on the screen. If I get it wrong, let's just say I put punch an N, you can see nothing happens, right? And then if in the end, it will come up like this. How fun is that? The pixel art activities is one of my students' most favorite activities. 
Next we have system of equations by substitution and this is our grow a garden activity. So again, this is a Google slide activity and students will go through each activity or each question and it's this is a um, a if they get it wrong then the slide will pop up as oops try again and if they get it right they will move into the next question so the whole point of this is to answer each question so that they can grow a garden there's also a coloring page for your students as well all right next we have building a house same idea except this is for elimination Students will go through and build the house by answering the questions. Next, we have graphing linear inequalities. Um, again, practice problems. So you get a set of our practice problems that includes um, at least 25 questions and there are word problems. And of course, you get an answer key as well because you don't have time to make one. Then we have systems of linear inequalities task cards and our quadratic formula uh, mystery puzzle. I love this one because it's so fun. In this activity, students have to figure out how nine went missing. And you, the directions are teachers will print out each clue, hide them around the room, print out a copy of slide five so that every student has some, you know, a, a place where they can write out all of the work through the problems. Your students might need extra uh, scratch paper, but that's totally okay. So all the digits were gathering to celebrate the new year. Every number was having a great time. They were mingling, chatting, and then all of a sudden, right before the ball drops, everything goes pitch dark. And there's a loud scream and thud. And when they turn back on the lights, nine is missing. So you've been hired as a detective to find what happened to their friend, nine. So you have to go, students have to go through, so this is slide five, they have to write down the suspects, what happened, and then so they have to solve each uh, quadratic equation, and then gather up the clues to figure out what happened to nine. Isn't that fun? I believe that is the last activity, but you get all of these. Again, it is not a pick and choose situation, you get all of them. All you have to do is use the link right in the description box below to download this now. And of course, if you would like to access everything you need to teach 6th, 7th, 8th grade Algebra 1, um, we have thousands of resources and I'm continuing to add more regularly printable resources, digital resources for your classes so that you don't have to really, so you can like take half the time to plan for your classes because everything is there for you inside of the membership the inside the pre-algebra teachers math membership which is also more you can find more information in the description box below well until next time bye for now